Hello students, uh, welcome to Short Upsar classes. Uh, in this uh, particular video, we will be solving the questions from admission test of ISI for all the MTech programs. And this paper is from 2022. So let's check what the question number 14 is saying. So suppose that F is a, that is mapping from R to R, is a differentiable non-decreasing function right whose derivative that is a prime is continuous that fix a is less than b and let s be the set where this x belongs to a and b and f of x a, a prime is equal to zero this f prime x is equal to zero now the thing is that if f a less than f b then which of the following necessarily holds right so for this the for first thing is that here it is given that f prime that is the derivative of f is continuous right then we have this f prime of x it should be greater than or equal to zero okay so in that case if we consider this following function that where f of a will be less than f of b so if we take the following function suppose if I uh, put this in a graph form, this is the graph of fx. So suppose this is the zero, and the graph is something like this. Okay, so from here you can see that this is a line on the x axis. So from here you can see this particular region, this region to this region. Okay, so this is the constant in this particular region, right? So this is the we are mentioning about graph of f x. Okay. Now if we do this. So, take the derivative of this. So, what will be the graph for f of prime x? What will be the graph would be? So, if we draw this curve, so this is the let us take this function. So this is this is the graph of f prime x. So here it is zero, and this, this direction. So if we do the derivative, then so the graph will look like this. Right. So now here you can see this region from this particular region in this. So this is the x and y. So this is the graph of a prime x. So here you can see the set s will be equivalent to this x comma y. So if we check the option, the set is empty. And next, the b the set is empty. It is incorrect. So in option b, it is given the set is finite and non-empty. So it is uh, not non-empty. That is fine. But it or uh, regions is if it is finite and uh, non -fin infinite, we cannot tell from this x and y basis. And c is also incorrect. The set of c s is countably infinite. So we have this none of the options here are correct. So for question number fourteen, we can say this option d will be the one correct option. Is none of the options are correct. 